Here are all the boxes. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Did I order this? Here she is. Ooh, I got a PR package. Ah! I think I know what this is. Sides feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Please the sides feel it rush. Bad bitches to the left. Money bitches to the right. Ah! Oh my god, okay, Savannah just posted, we did like a, I completely forgot that we did this and then the next day I was like, oh my god, wait, didn't we film like a music video or something? We, it wasn't yesterday. Yesterday I was hungover, I wasn't a real person, but yesterday I realized, for the two days before, we went to Beyonce and it was the most fun experience of life. Like, oh my god, like I put little clips like at the end of the last vlog, but oh my god, it was so much fun and we went to Club Renaissance bitch I was so close I got literally the best videos of her like so close to her but I'm in the best mood today today I just want to do stuff around the house I got my Starbucks oh Evelyn what you get for breakfast today don't worry I'll tell ya I got this this is my first time trying it's the grande pumpkin cream cold brew and it's actually really good it tastes like pumpkin obviously it kind of tastes like a pumpkin spice latte but a little bit stronger and a lot more coffee I'm like mm, I'm like ready for the day it's so hard to park into the garage if I scratch my boyfriend's car he's actually gonna kill me he's one of those guys you know those guys that are like obsessed with this car but this morning i dropped him off at the airport because he has to fly for work i got he sent me a little starbucks gift. he's like thank you for driving me he's like yeah my starbucks gift. that's why i got the starbucks well i got the starbucks anyways anyway <laughs> he said make sure to get blue puppuccino look at it we got a puppuccino you want puppuccino you hungry or you want water first blue is so weird she has to like be in the mood for a puppuccino i also got some food i always get this is my new recent favorite i used to never like the egg bites but for some reason they're kind of hitting recently so i got the bacon egg bites with sriracha sauce Ooh, but yeah today i got some packages in the mail ah some packages came early i ordered some furniture items on amazon and they came like i want to say like a week or two early i'm so excited to open it up and now that my boyfriend's gone i want to just like clean the whole house that way he comes back and it's like a completely brand new he's gonna be like wow ah, you got so much done even though it's like i just ordered a couple things but yeah i'm so excited to do stuff around the house and open up the packages oh my god also i have andre's wallet because we're going to new york fashion week and i'm leaving a day or two after andre he forgot his wallet so his dad dropped it off at my house okay lead the way let's go go Oh my god. Also, wait, can I show you what I got from the goodie bags? I'm gonna do like a whole TikTok probably. Wait, let me prop you up. Hopefully she stays. But we got little goodie bags from the Beyonce concert and I'm so excited. This is actually like literally my first time opening it. I haven't fully opened it. Yeah, everybody had their names on it and our plus ones got it too. All of our plus ones, Andre got this. It's the Beyonce's birthday party merch. It said Virgos. Okay, but I'm so excited. I got it in a small. I wish they could have given me an extra large because I would have wore that shit every f***ing day, but it's okay. I also got this scarf. It says flawless. Ladies, flawless. I woke up like this. And the thing that shook me the most, I put this in my TikTok already, is I saw this little box and I was like, that's not Tiffany. Is that Tiffany? Is it the color of Tiffany or is that actually Tiffany? We open it up, girl. It literally is a Tiffany necklace and it says Renaissance Beyonce. Welcome to the Renaissance Beyonce. Like, I'm gonna keep this forever. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna take it out of the packaging. I'm just gonna keep it forever and tell my kids that Beyonce personally gave me this necklace because she kind of did, right? I don't know. <laughs> like, what? A Tiffany's necklace that says Renaissance Beyonce. Like, I'm freaking out. The next thing we got, oh my God. Literally, Beyonce touched this. She signed it. It says, always love Beyonce world tour. And it has a bunch of visuals. I think that this could be a really cool coffee table book or something like that. I'm not really sure what this is for. I assume coffee table book, but literally going to tell everyone that Beyonce gave me that. Personally gave me that. We also got the Renaissance world tour hat. And, oh, I already opened it. This is the Tiffany packaging. Oh, I forgot this this fan it says fan me off okay this actually came in clutch during the show it was so hot and we got little Reese's pieces in it for cheese I don't know if, oh no I took that <laughs> It wasn't in the gift bag. I, I put it in my bag because you always want like a, a little drunk drunchy snack Andre and I also took some photos in the little photo booth. So this is mine. This is Andre's. This is mine But yeah, then we also got this little tote bag. It says Renaissance World Tour I'm Like oh my god, I just feel like such a crazy like VIP Like I couldn't believe that we were in like the club Renaissance like we were so close to her girl We met Beyonce's mother. We met Beyonce's mother like the most valuable pussy of the whole world Like are you kidding? me she birthed Beyonce I couldn't take any photos or videos but I did meet her and she was super 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 sweet and yeah I'm so excited 
I should put that all away and I'm gonna do like probably a TikTok unboxing because I don't know, I feel like there are a lot of people that watch me on YouTube and then there's, I feel like I have a whole separate TikTok audience. Maybe you guys watch on TikTok too, but I feel like I have a whole separate TikTok audience because I'll say something on a vlog and then people will be like, wait, what? And I'd be like, I, I feel like I have two separate audiences so I have to like keep the YouTube audience up to date and then the TikTok audience like up to date. I don't know if anyone ever feels like that. But I love when you guys like respond to the comments like, wait, girl, weren't you living in Paris? And then everyone's like, girl, you should be watching the vlogs. Like she said that she's living in Orange County now. I love when you guys do that. But I'm wearing my skims. Ta -da. It's so comfy. I'm wearing the little tank top and then the, what are these called? The little boxing, boxer shorts. Cause I woke up at like 7 a.m. to drop my boyfriend off at the airport. So I just threw something on really quick. But I'm gonna get ready for the day. I think the only thing that I have, one of my meetings got canceled. It was at 11. I have a laser hair removal appointment at 1.30. So I should leave soon and unbox all of this. I'm gonna show you the boxes, but I just need to scratch out my address. But here are all the boxes that came in the mail. It's so much. I'm pretty sure that this is the end or end chair for our bed. This one is the little round end table for the living room. This one is my chair for my vanity. I got some random Amazon purchases and then I think a Pura package came in as well. <laughs> I'm so excited to unbox everything. This literally is like Christmas, but home decor Christmas. Made it. Ta-da! I just did my makeup and filmed some podcast episodes for Girl Talk, my podcast. I kind of, so before when I first started making my podcast, I wanted it to be like Emma Chamberlain and just not have any guests. But now I think I'm more open to the possibility of having guests because I have just been obsessed with Trisha's podcast. It's called the Just Trish Podcast. But she has like the best guests and they're like funny as so I don't know I like I feel like if it's not like if it's a guest like a friend that you already know I feel like it's just funny to me I just don't love it when you have like guests and you don't know them and you're like oh my god I love you like we're gonna like kiss each other's ass it's like girl like, there's no chemistry there it's kind of like you know back in the day when like youtubers would do like collabs and we were just like it was like our first time meeting and it was kind of awkward I just like I don't know I love when people just like are friends and like they're fun together and like I don't know it's like a fun vibe but I, I don't know I kind of also love the idea of like Emma Chamberlain podcast and how she like does it by herself I don't know but ah, these are all the boxes that I have I'm so excited this I think was supposed to come like in two weeks it came so quick on Amazon and this is basically our little coffee table because I'll show you our coffee table right now she's I want to say like like she did her job she looked cute she did her thing in Marina Del Rey but now she's just like so beat up we spilled coffee on her she was just like cheap so now let's get into the Good mama. This girl I found on Amazon and I wanted to get, I wanted to get something circular because I love to mix different shapes in the living area. Like we have a lot of circle mirrors and stuff like that. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. What is this? <laughs> yeah, I, I felt like if I got a rectangle, it would be so many rectangles here. I wanted to add more dimension with the circle. Whenever I think of dimension, I always think of Alex's song. I wanna if we're in love in another dimension. But, ah, oh my god, ah! This must be two pieces. I don't know. Maybe it's in this box. Ooh, hopefully. But this is the coffee table. The big old circle. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out. Ugh, ugh. She wasn't cheap. She was. She's heavy. Oh my god. This mother. Okay, gonna get it out. Is it inside here? Oh, okay, I get it. It's inside, it's hollow. At first I was like, is it missing a piece? Because it's two pieces. Here's the big one. I think the little one's in here. The package her good. I'm gonna have to vacuum after this. So, kind of like an eaten cookie. It has a little bite in it. But the coffee table is like two circles that connect to each other. Kind of goes like this. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. Okay, let me show you what it's gonna look like. This is what it looks like. This is our living room right now. And ignore the, I have to wash it. I honestly might do that today. I might wash the couch. But this is our little coffee table. And I love her, but she's, look at how stained it is. It's like, I think she was like cheap on Amazon. It was like a hundred bucks, but there's so many like stains and stuff like that. It's like chipped everywhere. Like we really, we had this in the frat house. Like we really beat her up. All the drunk nights at Marina Del Rey. So I'm gonna donate this to Goodwill and I want to replace it with the new one. I'm so excited because originally I wanted a marble coffee table and I was looking at, there's a ton of marble coffee tables out there, but it's like the real marble is so expensive and then like the fake marble, like I couldn't find one that I liked. Oh my God, I don't know if I can do it. Wait, I probably have to roll it. Ta-da! Yay, we got a new coffee table! Ready? 
we're hanging out. Okay, move. Oh, here. This can go right here. Ah, I love it. Ah, ah. Look, come here. Come here. Do you like it? Oh my god, I think I love it. I love it so much. This is exactly what I wanted. It's nice and big. It fills up a good amount of area. And so I was looking at coffee table books. And obviously I love, you know, the little like Capri ones, the Italy ones, the Bali ones. It's like the rainbow ones. I wanted to get the little travel ones, but I feel like I was just love something so custom. So I'm custom making me and my boyfriend's own version of like the little travel books. I'll show you what I mean. Like I literally went into Canva. I photoshopped similar covers to the, uh, those type of books, like coffee table books that they sell for like $100 and I put it into, this isn't even sponsored. I saw Sierra got sponsored by this. So hey, if you wanna sponsor me? I like asked Sierra, I'm like, did you do like a coffee table book sponsor a while ago? And she was like, I did. And I was like, yeah, I swore you did. It was like, you or someone else. So she looked it back at her text and she was like, yes, it's called chat books. So I found, they're like these 10 by 10 coffee table books and I wanna get them for me and my boyfriend. It's gonna have a cover and it's gonna say all the places that we went. So like Amalfi Coast and we're gonna put all of the pictures of us in Italy and stuff like that. And where else did we go? Oh, Bora Bora. I made like a whole like thing and it's gonna be blue to match with the whole aesthetic of it. I think the other cover is like pink and I don't know. It'll just be colorful and I think it'll be really cute for when people come over. And it's not just like a coffee table book that like everyone has. Obviously it's so aesthetic and it'll be so cute anyways, but but I think that it would just be cute to have something super custom. He always, he's like a romantic. So he is like so old school. He'll always like print out photos of us and he has it in his office. But I don't ever have like printed out photos of us. So I want to do that for him um, or do it for us. So when people come over, they can like look through the book and like see our memories. And it'll just be like a cute little custom thing. I don't know. I feel like stuff like that is just so, it just what makes the house a home. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to do that. Maybe like little, you know, Amazon knickknacks across and but not too much so that watching tv it's not like a lot of stuff right here right now i just keep my journal because my boyfriend's at work and i'm like so fucking bored all the time andre's in new york like everyone's away so i'm just like bored as hell so i've been journaling a lot and like watching a lot of tv do you like it okay <laughs> oh my god i'm so hungry i think my door dash is here yay i'm so happy Raisin canes. Hey, get out there. Oh, I know it smells so good. I have had a recent obsession with raisin canes. Like we don't have raisin canes growing up. So I, it's just like something that I tried recently. I think I tried it for the first time with Sierra and I was just like so hooked ever since. And then now me and my boyfriend, it's like our inside joke thing. Like we always are getting raisin canes. I'm going to check. I asked for honey mustard because they didn't have any options for extra honey mustard. So I added it to the note. Please add honey mustard. Ah! Oh my God, they did. Ah! Got the box combo. Oh, oh my god, they gave me so much extra. Wait, they didn't even charge me for this. So I think it's like 30 cents per extra. But I got the box combo. This is my favorite combo. The cane sauce and then the honey mustard. Life changing. This is my order. I get the box combo. No coleslaw, extra butter. Because who the eats coleslaw butter on both sides for the bread extra cane sauce extra honey mustard yeah and you can even ask i was looking at there's like this raisin canes like hack page and they were like you can even ask for extra crispy wings or extra crispy chicken fingers oh they gave me ketchup and i also get a lemonade but you can also i don't know if this is crazy but like me and my boyfriend love sauce apparently if you pay five dollars you can get a full cup cup full of any sauce you want of the cane sauce of the honey mustard of anything like literally our high asses we like look at each other we're like oh my gosh should we do it but it's like how are you gonna use a whole cup's worth of sauce you know what i mean but hey like you can always like reuse it i guess i wish that they sold the cane sauce and the honey mustard just like in target you know how chick-fil-a sells it their chick-fil-a sauce in target oh i would buy that shit so quick i put it on everything that's why i get extra so i could put it in the fridge and i could like eat it with other stuff but i always dip the bread and the honey mustard mm, mm, the best bread mm, i'm so hungry you know when you like are working so much or you're doing so much that you forgot to eat forgot to eat like all day oh and then i finally was like oh my god i need to do my unboxing and i'm hungry as so door dash raisin canes it is <laughs> look i got a little straggler you want some you want some give me paw other paw circle sit down 
Wait, wait. Good job. <laughs> Those are all her tricks. I'm trying to teach her bang, bang. She hates rolling over. Does anybody's Frenchies roll over? Because Blue refuses to do bang, bang. I also want to teach her. I saw something on TikTok. Someone taught their dog to come to them when they ring their air tag. Because Blue has a little air tag on her collar. And I just feel like that would be something really helpful. Like if she ever goes running away or she ever goes missing, I call the air tag and she knows to come back. Maybe one day I'll, I'll really sit down with her and teach her because I just watched those like YouTube videos on how to train your dog and, and it like works. Oh my God, this is heaven. This is heaven on earth. I don't know what my last meal would be. Honestly, it could be raisin canes or, oh my God, I went to Maine. They had this lobster. Was it called sandwich? Lobster? Lobster roll? Lobster roll. Yeah, I had a lobster roll in Maine. I think I almost like had a food gasm. Like the food was so good. It was like, I already love lobster inside of a bread with, I think it had fries and it was like mm, marinated in whatever sauce it is. Like, oh my God, that was fire. And I think Maine is like known for that, sh that shit. They have like fresh lobster. You could tell Fresh off the boat. It was so good. You want to fry? Yeah, pop. There you catch. But mm, so good. But yeah, I think it would be a tie, honestly, from Raising Canes and the main lobster roll. Mm, so good. Mm, mm, mm. Comment down below. What is your death row meal? What would you choose to have your last meal? Because I'm really curious. Oh my God, wait, I forgot about a Tim Hortons. If I were to get anything from my last meal from Tim Hortons, it would be the farmer's wrap, but with the old packaging. I don't like that new packaging. The old packaging had like the red. It was like a little paper thing. And now they just cover it in like that little brown wrap. Like, huh? It was so cute before and I could like be in the car and like drive and eat my sandwich and it wouldn't create a mess. Now it like creates such a mess. So the old Tim Hortons farmers wrap, ice cop and a donut. Why not? I'm dying anyway, you know? At that point, I would get like a 12 pack, like party size, but I'm gonna finish eating and unbox the rest of the boxes. I'm so excited. I don't even know what that other one is. I'm pretty sure. I didn't check my Amazon because I want it to be a surprise when I open the box, but I'm pretty sure it's for our bedroom. It's the little table that's in front of the bed. I don't know what it's called. Front side table? It's not bedside table. Front side table? I don't know. Bed bench? Front side bed bench. I don't know. I think that's what it is, but it said it was gonna be delivered next week, but that coffee table is supposed to be delivered in two weeks, so I'm really surprised, but yeah. I'm on live on TikTok live. So if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, it's just Adel and Morn. You guys know I post on TikTok like every day. I love TikTok so much, but I never go live. This is like my first time in like forever going live. Hi. Okay, I have to be honest. I've been wearing those earrings for like so many hours. The fact that they started to hurt, so I just took them out. But let's continue the unboxing. Okay, let's see. Oh, what is this? It's not that heavy. Hopefully it's not breakable. Wait a minute. Did I order this? What is this? This is so weird. Is this even for me? Wait, let me make sure that this is the right address. I'm confused. Oh my God. I think they sent me the wrong thing. So I ordered, this is what it is. It's this storage bed for the very end of your bed. And I wanted this one, right? Why did it come like this? That is like, girl, that is like not the same at all. I don't even think they have it in the same listing. That is so weird. I don't know what to do. I feel like I have to just like tell Amazon. Oh, I'm really sad. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Well, I guess I'll put it back in the box and I'm just gonna take a picture of it so that I can show it to them. What a disappointment. But, okay, next up is for sure the right one because I can see it right here. Yay! So, in my makeup room, I've been sitting on a box for the past like, week that I've had, not even a week, probably the past couple of days that I've had. What are you looking at? Hi. But this is the chair. Here's the instructions. I'm so excited. I wanted a pretty big tufted white chair. At first I, I wanted to get a pink one, but I was looking, I didn't love any of the pink ones on Amazon and I wanted one to come pretty quick. That's why I ordered it on Prime. This came in like two days. It was so quick. This is the chair. It's like stuck in the box. Oh, it's so soft. Ooh. Watch out. Here she is. Oh my God, this is so nice. Wow, this is a lot nicer than I thought. So how do I put it together? Screws. What the f are the screws? Oh, it's right here. Ow. I stepped on something sharp. Ow. What the f did I sit on? So I think all I need to do is, what the f is this? These are not screws. What the f Okay, I've ordered so much furniture in my life. I've never seen where you have to like open up the bottom. The screws are right here. Here she is. <laughs> Let's do it. So it wants me to put the chair upside down. It wants me to screw it through the inside. Got it. Let's try. Hopefully, yay! Ah, now I have a makeup chair. Hello, welcome to my vanity room. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. And it's so swirly. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna put it upstairs. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, 
ignore how messy this is right now but this is what i was sitting on the past like a couple of days and i kept falling in this is oh let me move this my new chair ah oh my god it's so perfect Ta -da! and like oh my god sit in it and it's like the perfect height oh my god i'm so happy oh i'm so excited to decorate this room this room has just been like at the back of my mind i've mostly been focusing on like our bedroom and downstairs because that's like when people come over that's what they see so i want to really get that done so that if we ever do do a housewarming party at least that's over with my makeup room i'm so 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 excited to decorate this one this one's gonna be so much fun because i have all my bags and all of my clothes that i can like display i want to make like a whole ikea unit on this wall right here but yeah i'm so happy and i can turn Ooh, oopsies <laughs> i can turn in a circle <sighs> And I'm so happy I'm finally able to do my makeup here and I won't have to fall into a box. Okay. Now, the last things that I got in the mail. I kind of want some lip gloss. I just got this. The, I think the last vlog that I did. Oh no, where did I put my lip gloss? I just got this Fenty one. I put it in a purse somewhere, but this is also one of my favorites. It's the Ulta Beauty one. I like used it all up, almost all out. I need to get more of those. Those just like, they moisturize your lips on top of glossing it. And it just tastes so good. Now, last thing that I got, see, okay, I got, oh my god, this is perfect because I took off my other earrings. I got see, these little babies. These are the Bottega dupe earrings, but they're the smaller ones. These are so perfect for day to day because you know, the other one, I do love it. It looks so good for like special events if you're going to only wear it for a couple hours, but after a while, it really honestly starts to hurt your ears because they're so big and like, I'm not saying that they're heavy, but I'm just saying they're big. You move your, hand, your head around a lot and like, you know, it just, after a while, it kind of hurts, so. I got these little ones and I always wear gold. So I got them in gold and I always get compliments whenever I wear these earrings. So if you guys want to check them out, I always link out my Amazon storefront. It looks like this. Oh, it looks so cute. Ta -da. On the other side. I can't get it in. But yeah, these are the earrings. <laughs> and I love them. And they're like, I think the small ones were like $13 and then the big ones were around like 20-ish. Ooh, I got a PR package. I think my manager was telling me about this. These are grand or grande lash just grande grand i'm not really sure it's been 15 years celebrating 15 years this is their founder alicia bigger better birthday 15 years with their grand lash lash enhancing serum oh my god i have been wanting to use these lash enhancers because i swear to god like how the f some bitches have like just like the longest eyelashes and i'm like girl what do you do they put like castor oil on it they have like a whole lash routine i never think of having a lash routine so i'm really excited to use this and the packaging is so cute look at the little like rhinestones on it oh i'm so excited to use it thank you that was like my first pr package that i've gotten since i moved here next up i got a steamer because my clothes are always wrinkly i can never get myself to iron my clothes but steaming is so quick and it's so much easier so i found this cute one i think it was like 20 bucks on amazon and it looks like this Ta -da! i think i have the same one in canada and it's really good it heats up really quick you can even add this little attachment on it for some of your clothes how do i do this and yeah you can just steam your clothes like this and i'm so excited because yeah a lot of my clothes end up wrinkly and i'm like oh i have to iron it and i never do next up i got some userin i was talking to you guys about my eczema i always get eczema under my arms it's so annoying and it's painful bitch like so many people are like oh my god your eczema like you have a rash under your arms i'm like bitch i fucking know it fucking hurts me every day like i know that i have it and i don't want to get rid of it i mean i do i have like this prescription thing that my doctor gave me but i just feel like the more i use it the more painful it almost gets like i almost feel like it makes it worse so i'm trying to use this is just an oatmeal skin protectant um it's just gonna moisturize the underarms and i i don't know if anyone has any like natural remedies on how to get rid of eczema please let me know because it girl it's like honestly so painful and like people are like oh you know people get eczema because of stress and there's so many factors and you know there's so many ways that you could get it and like there's no one way to like get rid of it oh <gasps> It's like literally the most annoying thing. This I feel like has helped quite a bit. This one, and I think I used another one. What was it called? I think it was like a Johnson's one, but this one, everyone was recommending this on my stories. And then I got some pink sprinkles because I want to make some Barbie cocktails. So I got some pink sprinkles. Next. <laughs> 
I have all of the ingredients for my Barbie cocktails. Next up, I got, ooh, my fire stick. I don't know why my TV's been acting kind of weird over here because it's totally connected to the internet. Everything works perfectly fine. Netflix works, YouTube works, but for some reason, HBO Max and Hulu haven't been working on that TV. And I'm like, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm, I restarted the, the TV, I've done everything. I just don't understand. So I got fire stick. Ooh, there's lots of parts to it. Ta -da! But I guess we got, this is the fire stick. This is the charging cable, the remote, the shirt. I think I don't really know what that is. And I think this is the instructions. And then what's down here? Oh, nice. We got the little plug for it and then some batteries. Ooh, I love that it comes with batteries. Yay, so I got my fire stick. And then this is a set, do not separate. What did I order? Four pack. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited. So I don't know what happened. I used to have so many blinged cups and I love like rhinestone bling. I honestly like, Trisha Paytas is the queen of blinged tumblers and blinged cups. I have one that has like my name on it. It's like a custom bling cup that a subscriber made for me. She literally puts every individual crystal on herself and she made one with my name on it. She's like, oh, I sell on Etsy and I, girl, I always order from her. Ever since she gave it to me that one <laughs> time, I've ordered from her ever since. But I found these on Amazon. It's a four pack with the most gorgeous colors. And I think all of these were around $50. Ah! Oh my God, this would be so cute to like have your coffee in. Wait, so I got purple. We also got this like holographic rainbow. Oh my God, this gives me so much serotonin. Cause you know, I have my coffee every single day and I'm, tr I'm really trying to not go to Starbucks every single day. Starbucks just makes me so happy. But I'm trying to make my coffee at home every day and like these cups just give me so much serotonin and they're reusable so they're better for the environment. We got this gold one. Ah, this is so cute. Oh my God, ah. And I think the last one is gonna be my favorite. Ah, oh my God, this is like, this is literally Barbie. Are you kidding? This is so cute. This pink one. Oh, oh my God, this is so cute. My little rhinestone cup. Oh my gosh, look at me, my little rhinestones. Eee, they're so cute. Oh my God. Uh, oh, that's such a pretty good deal because they're um, metallic. What do you call it? They're like that stainless steel thing. So it keeps your drink cold for a really long time. It's either cold for a really long time or hot for a really long time. These are the best containers ever and they're sparkly and it was like pretty good. It was like almost 10 bucks each. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, and then last, I think I know what this is. So you guys know in Canada how I have a bunch of Voss water bottles and I like to refill them so that I drink more water. Well, I found them on Amazon. I didn't find the exact ones. I found the, move your little bomb. I found the sparkling water water ones and my boyfriend likes sparkling water so like whatever I got it for him he can drink the sparkling water I don't love sparkling water but he can drink it and I will refill it with my filtered water from my Brita ah, yay oh my god I'm so excited to put these in the fridge oh no I think one of them maybe spilt oh no hopefully not I'm gonna put these in the fridge I'm so excited Whew. they came in packs of nine and I got two of them so I have 18 but I think that's a really good amount for the fridge. Let's see. Okay, so this is my fridge before. I feel like fridges look so satisfying when you have a lot of drinks in them. So I'm gonna put a bunch of the Brita filter or the Brita water, what? The Voss waters, the glass bottle of water right here. No, we'll always have water. Well, my boyfriend will have water and I'll have water soon. <gasps> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's merch shout out of the day goes to Amy on Instagram. She's wearing her girl sporting girls tie dye pink hoodie and sweat set. And she looks so cute. Oh, that was like one of my favorite sweat sets. I literally would wear that all the time. It still is to this day. Like I, that was such a good one, but I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I recently have been wearing my I Don't Chase I Track. It's like this forest green color and it's a crew neck and it's so excited for it to come out. I'm also talking to Fanjoy because I was like, honestly, I've been wearing a lot of pink recently and everyone was like, okay, girl, you need to be doing some pink merch. So I'm like, ah! 
Okay, so I've been talking to Fanjoy about doing some pink merch and we are in the works for it. So I'm really excited, but it's super cute. And we were like, oh my God, now that it's like Barbie. And like, honestly, pink has just been growing on me as a color. I feel like I was in my yellow era and honestly pink, I've just been loving a lot recently. I just feel so cute and girly and pink. I feel very feminine and I feel like for the longest time, I've been so out of my feminine energy. I just feel so feminine right now and I just want to embrace it and like wear pink and like look super cute and like look super dainty and like I don't know I just love being a girl <laughs> even though guys can wear pink too but I just feel super extra cute and girly and feminine and pink and today's tip of the day goes to Rosalie on Instagram she tagged me in this it said you're not pretty like her you're pretty like you you know there's a the thing about the woman across the room you can see the woman across the room you think she's so poised she's so together but she looks at you and you are the woman across the room for her I love that tip of the day because I feel like the grass is always greener on the other side. All my friends with small boobs want big boobs and all my friends with big boobs want small boobs. Like believe it or not, I almost got a breast reduction like a couple years ago because I just felt like like at the time I was like super brand friendly. I would never show my boobs and like I always felt like my friends who were like skinnier than me um, got more brand deals than me just because they could like wear a bikini and like it was like brand friendly. It wasn't like boobs, you know? <laughs> So I really genuinely thought about getting a boob reduction and I'm so glad that I did it because I was born with these boobs and like hey they're not perfect they're not like amazingly perky but hey like they're like my boobs and I really like them and I've grown to like my natural boobs and I'm really glad that I did nothing to them and that's why honestly I'm like I feel like I can be kind of an insecure person sometimes and I always think oh maybe I could get this done oh maybe I could get this done especially like being in LA when there's so many gorgeous people here you're like comparing yourself to other people all the time but I'm so honestly so genuinely happy I didn't do any of the things that I ever thought that I wanted to do and I'm honestly as I grow older I'm learning to love my body my natural body a lot more and like not that there's anything wrong with getting anything done like honestly my friends would get things done like they look f***ing hot but I don't know I think it's just like a thing that I'm personally dealing with and like being someone that like lived in LA and being someone that like you know people are always talking about like the way that you look and like you gained weight you lost weight you did this you did that like whatever it's just like it's really hard to not think about those things but I'm really glad that I didn't do all those things and I really love my body right now and like hey I have my like bad days and like fashion week is coming up and I'm like oh I just ain't raising kids before fashion week but like fuck it like I don't know who cares you know like everyone like starves themselves to like look like a little bit like skinnier for like a fucking photo that like I don't know you won't even like know I don't know for me I'm like you won't even notice so like I might as well just like eat what I want to eat but yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog I'm always here if you guys need to talk every Monday and Friday on my vlog channel and every Wednesday on my podcast channel for girl talk but I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next vlog same place same time love you guys Bye. I know you want it, want it. Squeeze the sides, feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Squeeze the sides, feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Yeah.